Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. Hi. Welcome to another live. Welcome to Fish Keep in Jamaica. Tonight, it's like, you know, and it's not really planned that way. Tonight is like putting everything together. Um, this week was an eventful week. I I did streams for the entire week, starting at six and ending at seven. Sometime ago, a little couple of minutes, and it was really, 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 really a uh, uh, event eventful week. Uh, several topics were not topics that I really planned to talk on. There were topics in which um, came about due to discussion with um, other fish keepers. Um, Derek, um, eight two one. Everything just flow over into each other. And it actually ties up with um tonight uh stream. I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to make it during the course of this week six to seven. However, I will be on next week Saturday night, right? But I will let you know um I will let you know what I will be doing um as soon as uh probably hopefully tomorrow, right? I I share, right? Okay. Um. So tonight's video is primarily about biotope right I, I i am pleased with the response from a stream i must say that right i am pleased with my stream now so the topic of biotope ecosystem is one in which um actually rings a bell when you're actually talking about the whole idea of um you know the the, the last topic in which i did i talk about a uh, self-cleaning aquarium and some persons might be saying um self-cleaning aquarium but can't uh, a biotope actually um be uh, to a great extent can't it be a, a, a self-cleaning aquarium uh well uh that's what the discussion here tonight is primarily about i'll be here for 60 minutes uh so you can just post your questions your thoughts your ideas your experience in the chat or uh, if you missed the chat you can post it in the comment section and i'll gladly pay attention to it this is one uh youtube channel owner uh you know publisher who pay attention to the chat and do not ignore the chat even if i become um viral as a youtuber i still promise even if i have to hire somebody to answer my youtube messages uh my comments i will do that i hate going on youtube um uh you know channels watching the hey big dog uh, nice seeing you brother I hate going on big um big channels and, and posting comments and there is no response, right? All right, so today I'm trying to get a double screen here. I'm trying to actually uh so that I can actually read on my rounded rap. What's up? What's up? What's up? Nice seeing you, boss. I let me see if I can quickly go on YouTube on my phone so I can actually read because I'm all over the place. I have to have all my details here so that um so I can actually, um, you know, respond to comments as soon as they do come in. Ah, lunatic fringe, nice seeing you, boss. Yes, 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 respect. All right, so we have four persons in the chat. So let's get straight to the discussion. We can leave the little uh, fooling around, uh, you know, uh, joking around to the end. Uh, I promise to stay 60 minutes with you. I have to be budgeting my time for reasons I'll explain to you probably at the end of the uh, of the stream right okay so we talk about uh, a, a, a biotope right we talk about a biotope um ecosystem uh what is a biotope ecosystem all right so um in a sense a biotope ecosystem is as it says biotope it's ah uh, <laughs> yeah 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 we do that sometimes right i have i have some bills um rounded up uh from about probably about uh, uh probably about 10 years yeah, they are in a little folder that I actually keep my bills in. So, so um, to the topic, uh, biotope ecosystem. I, I I added my research and I found that um that this can be achieved carefully when planning with precision. Uh, this research actually took me and I as I said before, uh, my topics are not just topics that I actually come up with, um, uh, but they are based on like follow up as as to where the, the, the story actually is going so as to not leave my my viewers um out in the dark right now this research took me a few hours if not a couple of days right and um yep 
um, in between classes at school, you know, because I'm a teacher, I'm doing online, so I had to be like preparing like madly in the course of the week, right? So I had to prepare for my every single um streams in the morning, six to seven. I I, I consider um the whole idea of 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 low maintenance maintenance um aqua aqua aquatic environment. Uh okay, so so some people's may some persons might say that a biotope um is the same um in 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 in, in just reflection a biotope is the same thing as let's say uh a a a, a, a self cleaning mechanism um in fact it it, it 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 is it is a little bit more than that right um let me explain a, a biotope is an aquarium a biotope ecosystem within an aquarium first and foremost i believe yeah yeah I, I am reading the text of lunatic um fringe yeah okay all right trust my fish nice seeing you all right cool okay all right we're gonna get there lunatic fringe but um let, let me explain a biotic bi biotope a biotope um aquarium um before i even go into explaining um all that lunatic fringe no a, a biotope right is one that uh that 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 that, that present or should i say uh, it has, it's like a community aquarium. Some persons do biotope with, um, like with several different types of fish, invertebrates, plants, you know, the whole natural, you know, nature looking thing. Uh, for example, you do a, a, a South American uh, cichlid uh, aquarium, a South American um, biotope, uh, African biotope, you know, uh, all of those, right? So some persons might do a species only, why some persons might mix it up and have a community aquarium biotope. Now, this is a very um, general definition, right? Because a biotope can, in fact, represent a set of species from several different habitats. And that is one thing that I, I am not too, too, too fond of, right? Yes, yes, just my fish. We're looking at biotope tonight, right? Uh, okay, so... Um, as I talk about biotope, right? Uh, 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 biotope, when, when, when planning a biotope, uh, you're talking about uh, creating a system that rep, re, replicates, right? Um, a system that replicates the natural system uh, that is out there. As I said before, you have, um, you, have you can have, uh, let's say, South American, North American, uh, Caribbean, yes, Caribbean, African um, setup. Right, so when you go to the African water, um, you'll actually you, you'll actually picture all that, and you actually can actually you know see the the, 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 the similarities between the setup in the aquarium versus what you're actually seeing. Why? So what happened in a natural system is actually replicated in a biotope, right? All right. Oh, there are several types of substrate, plants, and and and, and the chemistry. Um, that is suited for the specific biotope, right? Now, for, to build a biotope, you have to get the chemistry, right? The, the fish species have to be, have the right mix and the temperature. When I say chemistry, I'm talking about the pH and, and you know, the amount of minerals, which makes the water either neutral, acidic, or alkaline, right? They're talking about the, the whole idea of, uh, of plants. You know, some plants... Um, strive well in um in, in al alkaline type of water neutral type of water yeah yeah yes you kind of have some that that can survive between 5.5 and and, and 6.9 um um uh, ph right so you're talking about the whole idea the dynamics as to get the, the right mix right okay so i have previously mentioned that um that biotope uh with one specific uh you know one specific species species um can be can be considered you know by several persons yeah indian biotope is the best okay it, it, it depends it depends all right okay you guys jump in ahead of of of, of, of the storyline but I, I wanted to set i wanted to set a pace as to where i'm going with the argument regards to biotope all right i see lunatic fringe is actually throwing out this idea there um they are all correct and we the whole idea of setting the pace, setting the setting the up, you know, mirroring what is there in the wide. Okay, so um, I I I I I am one for 
um i am one over the years have ideas that i can create a biotope right a biotope right uh is one that should specify a particular re um region um lunatic fridge right um I, I i believe that if you have a biotope if you have a biotope right that um your 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 your, your fish should be from the same region so you should not build a biotope saying that you're designing your own biotope right uh let's say that you, you you have some african cichlids and you have some south american cichlids and you're going to build a biotope and you're going to mix them i i am one that don't advocate for that right i do not agree with the whole idea of mixing fish from different region uh within the same aquarium right while some persons might have done it and and it and it is considered to be you know um creative and and persons like it um i believe that this is not so it's a reason why they are separated they have different dimension temperature water chemistry you know the whole the whole the whole the whole setup is totally different um uh, for newbies and novice keepers and when i said novice i mean persons who are like they are, they are actually new to the whole idea of of of, of something novice mean newbies same way right so novice newbies fish keeper um i would not attempt a biotope setup uh with any aquarium under 55 gallon right and and for those persons who have biotope who have tried biotope before you can attest to the fact that a biotope um includes a lot of plants include uh substrate and sometimes the substrate has to be like uh roughly a three to five inches thick right and uh sometimes you have to have some rocks in there and you have fish of you know different temperament so therefore you're going to need um space for them to own and all that so therefore you might end up have a problem where in which um you know things are just not working well right because the fish does not really sit well okay let's see what rounded rab is saying yeah yeah uh, okay okay <laughs> okay as as far as my lighting is concerned um i do i know that it's not, it's not me just my fish throwing my his word on i know that is um is is most enough with um rounded rap right um uh i'm gonna be fixing that very soon so you will see a different picture hopefully i can get this green screen up i can get uh the lighting proper um properly fixed and you know everybody will you know um be enjoying both uh the the, 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 the the discussion and the scenery all right as far as uh as far as biotope is concerned let's get back to the story about biotope okay so a biotope should be um established uh with aquariums yes you can have several fish um it, it can be a community tank right it can be you're going to adjust my fish it can be a community tank and it can be a species only um biotope right uh, i wouldn't advise you to mix uh let's say uh north american and uh central american cichlids together or um african and and, and south american cichlids together right or, or fish in particular right biotope should uh, uh replicate a particular region and in doing so you all know that fish have although they might have the same ph but they they have the different temperature although they have the different uh, they might might have the, the same ph might have the same um temperature might can live uh within the uh you know within the the, the same the same space but remember that you have this thing they call um aggressiveness the 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 the, 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 the ability to actually uh withstand uh the the, the 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 tank mates and sometimes just sometimes round and round um you might have fish looking good for a while um and then uh you know stuff happens right also you have um persons um actually trying to include plants within a, a special uh well a set uh biotope that doesn't really come from that region that means the plant it, 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 it is not good for the plants to be within that type of um temperature 
uh, having that water chemistry, having that uh, substrate, you know, because you're going to actually replicate. So therefore, you're going to get stuff that actually imitate that thing. For example, let's say that you're going to be doing a black water aquarium. You also know by now that black water aquarium, right, it has a, it have a below 7 pH, right? Black water aquarium is like engine on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like nearly, not fully nearly, it, 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 it's, it's below 7, right? Uh, it can be between uh, 6.5, uh, even lower in a black black water aquarium. That's that's the pH, right? Um, creating a biotope environment requires research. Ah, simple put lunatic fringe. So a biotope really, really it should actually represent a biological setup of a of a, of, of a natural area. Right, that exists out there, not that we're not one in which you're actually creating in your mind. Right, it should and, and fridge, yeah, you're, you're actually speaking my language. Right, um, yeah, it, it, it would be, it, yes, in, in, indeed, um, lunatic fridge, it would be what you call a hybrid, um, biotic, biotic top, right, biotope, sorry, by <laughs> bio, biotope. Oh, right, it would be, uh, um, my, my chair is a little bit too near to the. The tank at the back so um i'm, I'm, I'm kind of lit my head a while ago all right so biotopes are not one which um you get up early one morning and decide to do and it is done right uh planning and coordinating step uh steps by step by step um you know you know following um, practicality as to how things exactly you know, you want you want it to be a complete replica of what exactly um exists out there. So therefore, you're going to do your research. You're going to collect your substrate that um can accommodate right um the the, 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 the plant that can accommodate um having your water at a certain pH. Because listen, if you if you include shells right and limestone rock, you're going to find that your pH is going to go up. So therefore, um, if you're doing a biotope and, and, and the biotope requires that the pH is at a certain level, therefore, um, you, you, you have to be mindful as to the, the, the type of decorations that you're actually placing it. And you also have to be mindful of the, the biological matter that comes with the aquarium itself, right? Um, for example, you know, you know, the plants and the substrate, the decoration, you know, the, the works, right? And also the filtration, because some filtration comes with systems within it um, that actually um, acts as a buffer to the water itself, thus maintaining the water pH at a particular level. Now, um, the, the, the pH and the KH of the water um, is of importance as far as um, as far as the, the creating an authentic biotope. Um, now. When breeding takes place in the biotope, let's look at that. How can I get plants and 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 um and, and the substrate and the other tank mates to actually live unifiedly uh, with the fries within that space? You have to think about all that, and and that is one of the reasons why it is advised, right? That is one of the reasons why it is advised. Hey, Cooper Aquatics, nice seeing you, dopes. What's up, chef? How things? What cooking lacking today? Any curry? And the food. All right, cool, chef. Yes, yes, yes. Nice seeing you, cook. All right, cool. So we're talking about biotope, right? Are we talking about the whole idea of uh, what a biotope ecosystem, what you look at, what it is, and you know the importance of it all, right? Um, just my fish. Um, are you at work now? Okay. Now, um, you look at biotope, right? Uh, some creative mind have seared. Um, and creating a, a, a biotope mixing plants and aquatic species from from several regions now throughout the world right like 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 a, a like a bulb um these bright minds switch switch on a light right and after a while you know it, they, 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 they don't really think about the repercussion or they just do it for the fame so as a result of that 
you find that um the the, 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 the aquarium crash because everything put in together doesn't work well within uh what i call it a hybrid i like what lunatic fred said fringe fringe right i like what he, lunatic fringe said like a hybrid biotope ecosystem right where practically you actually making it right it's just like how they make the floor horn right i'm not going into that story uh note carefully that these bright minds in the hobby are some whom you have been following yourself right they, they, they said that they're going to be design a biotope and you sit and you watch and you admire and say it looks beautiful but the thing about it is that one year two years down the line a couple months um christian are those biotopes still in operation are those fish still living in that um that 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 that, that image that they actually paste uh please within um you know uh, on youtube yeah they have a lot of followers and 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 persons follow person and i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a stream on that if god is god if god permit i'm gonna do a stream on that why you actually follow who you follow right okay 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 cool just my fish i know you're gonna be going because you were you were doing well before um you you left right um uh like my practice of fish keeping aquatic creature right uh from 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 the same region uh, um I, I i i i i believe that aquatic creatures should be kept from the same region so i have multiple aquariums behind me right each uh, by the way, I, I like species only ponds and species only aquariums. However, if I should actually group my aquarium fish together regarding region, I'll be okay with that. But as far as actually mixing everything together, I, I don't think so. I, I would not put my emuma with my my um uh, my, my convicts, right? Um convicts are from South America, emuma from Africa. Uh both are uh, both are uh, aggressive. Right, but I would not do that, right? So I would not make a biotope for these fish, knowing that uh, they're from the same region, from, from the different region, sorry, right? And um, you know, that, that would just create some mess um in the system after a while. Now, um, as I said before, plants have their own preference for minerals, the preference for nutrients. Um, so therefore you have to consider the soil, right? You have to consider the water chemistry, you have to consider the, the, the soil chemistry. Now plants have their preference of sunshine. Or well, some some plants within, I remember you know, you can't have a biotope. Well, I don't call it a real biotope if it don't have some amount of um plants in it, right? Because most waterways uh you would find even a little bit of plant in it. Right? I, I love bio biotope with plants in it. Um some means of um some means of, of plants, some means of vegetation, right? It, it, it just looks awesome. And plants, right? Um, bring off your aquarium, right? And a biotope without plants is just like a um a biotope without without a substrate. It's just it just won't work, right? Um, remember, you know, the biotope supposed to mirror what actually happens in the wild, right? Okay, I am I'm just reading what 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 um just my fish says. All right, um let me let me let me let me let me share what just my fish says. Yes. Yes, that's true. That's just true. Um just my fish. That's very true. Right? I agree with you 100%. Now, first and foremost, remember each fish species, right? um beings have the specific um of of of, of the specific specific preference them ha their habitat right um the intensity of lighting some plants um like low lighting some plants like high lighting so uh you know that the lighting actually in bed bed, bed now tv nice seeing you Ari, Ari. yeah I, 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 yes, 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 lunatic fringe. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, so if um, and for those persons who are say, but but why are you talking about plants and um 
um, and see, we're talking about um, saltwater aquarium. Um, saltwater don't have any plant. Well, for me, if you have a saltwater tank and you don't have any corals in it, um, it's it's not it's like it's not complete, right? You have to have some 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 corals, and and to me, corals will actually do. Um, it's like a it's like it's like a form of plants to me. You know, probably persons might see differently, but it's like a, a form of plants to me, right? Because they, they, they like clean water. Um, they, they, they love the sunshine and um, murky water actually they die if they actually experience it. So, you know, all with all that, yeah, for real. All right, so the, the chemical composition of the water, the temperature, right? The, soup, the food supply, um, com competing with, with, with the predatory, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, species. All these have to be taken in consideration. When talking about a, um, a, a, a biotope, right? Um, all these from a biotope um, supposed to be unique to a particular region. So um, you, the fish actually have its in its space, right? Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. And that's a form of plant, right? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, I'm lunatic French. No, anyway, it's, it, 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 I'm just sorry that EPK Aquariums uh, is, is not here. Um, he will actually get a kick out of this discussion, uh, especially when it comes on to um, focus on nature, you know, natural, you know, the, 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 the whole the some symbiotic uh, uh relationship in nature between um animal nature and human right he 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 will be he will be you know really really cool with this no now anyway it, it is it is reasonable to, um reasonable true that a biotope has no clear boundary right you can have as much as as much as one might say that um a a, a biotope as much as one might say that uh, a biotope Okay, I'm I'm reading what I'm reading what just my fish says. The plants give the aquarium. Okay, all right. Yes, exactly. And even the algae. And I'm 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 having I'm having a series. Um, starting February, starting February the uh, February the seventh. I I I'm having a, a a series on algae where I uh where not me alone. I uh, um several other fish tubers will be involved in the series where it's, they will actually share uh the, and their insight, their experience, the information that they have actually learned over the years regarding algae, uh, the different aspects of um you know algae within their system, they will be sharing it with the audience, right? So uh you're being uh encouraged to, to join in that series. Uh and it should be awesome. Okay, uh, lunatic French fringe says, and then you get into microalgae, which uh, which is praised in that hobby. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, algae have significant role in in the hobby of fish keeping, and a lot of persons tend to curse it and say that they should use different different things so as to manage it. You are exactly you are exactly on point. Um, lunatic fringe. Okay, all right. So, um, let's 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 get down a little bit more as far as uh biotope is concerned now now some some aquatic we must be mindful when, when we're setting up um biotope right and I, I know i talk about the whole idea of mixing but at times nature within itself mix itself because some fish tend to migrate and mix itself in different regions for different reasons uh, for example, climate change, global warming, the whole idea of overfishing, fish is actually running for their life in different sections of the world, um, trying to actually invade um, other areas, uh, making it uh, for some fish. For example, the lionfish is actually invading the Caribbean waters, um, causing a problem for the tourist industry. Where it's, they, are, they are no bother really, in, in the sense that they won't chase you and bite you, but you know, it's very, um, they have venoms that can really be um, toxic to anything that actually brushes on it. So that's a problem. All right. Um, yes, yes, that's true. 
That's true. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm going to look at what lunatic French says. Let me highlight it. Okay, lunatic French asks a, a really, really cool question. The question would be if you keep red sea occurring, your sanity is higher. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you see, uh, you have to be careful about the salinity within your water. Um, you know, everybody who keeps saltwater aquarium, they keep it primarily for the looks. The fish are really colorful. And and, and it can be a debate. They can be a debate. And probably um D from Brooklyn probably can can um from probably can have more arguments on this. Uh, so if you have not yet um looked at D D from Brooklyn uh channel, you can check him out, right? I put a link to his channel at the end of this right he he does both fresh water and salt water a lot of persons enter into salt water aquarium because primarily of the color of the aquarium okay okay that that, that that's something to think about just my fish that's something to think about for real all right um the 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 the, the, the fish living in various uh, biotope and interacting with uh, a variety of organisms, right? Uh, for example, as I think lunatic fringe actually point out, uh, lunatic fringe or uh, just my fish, the whole idea that you have a symbiotic relationship between the aquatic creatures themselves and, uh, let's say, the, 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 the environment, you know? For example, uh, the, the, you have some fish like, like the loach, uh, they will actually, uh, in their natural habitat, they will find themselves in, in holes and, and in the sun and, and between the rocks, right? Uh, searching for remnants of food or probably hiding, right? And you have um, shrimp, they will be on a leaf, try to pick up, pick up their microscopic organism or some, something like that, right? So you have the whole symbiotic relationship. So the, 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 the shrimp will actually be picking up those little things that's growing on the leaf in the plant, on the plant right so and the plants will enjoy that because with all that gone from the plant leaf what you find is that uh the plant now can actually receive more sunshine as we see more light so as to produce uh more food through the whole process of photosynthesis so the plant will actually thrive more on the light which is uh you know good uh meaning that the stream have actually uh, done the work Uh, well, well, you see, the salt that exists within the water, you know, has to do with the, the mineral content. And the mineral has to do with the rock type that exists um, uh, along the coastline, or should I say, within the, within, the, within the soil or within the rock that is found within the sea. So it depends on the region that you're at. You might find the salinity uh, a little bit different. Um, so therefore, when considering a uh, salt water aquarium, you have to be a decent mind. You don't want water to be salt, too salty. And at the same time, water, uh, the saltiness in the water um, serves the fish well as it has its part to play in the fish existence and the fish uh, being healthy. Right? So I, I said before, right? Yes, that's true. I'm running to French. I agree. Yes, that's true. And you need a tester for that lunatic French fringe. All right, okay. Um going down, uh let's 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 look at the size of aquarium. Now, um, I've seen a lot of persons um done nano aquariums, right? And nano aquariums have nano fish, right? And the nano fish lives in a nano aquarium uh with plants, right, and substrate, and to some to some extent it might uh, actually mirrors what you call a biotope. But uh, that biotope actually limits uh, several things. One, it, it, it limits uh, having several species of fish, one. And two, it prohibits the whole idea of breeding within that nano because nano means small, right? So the only thing you're looking for is just the beauty of the setting, not necessary for the fish to live as though it will live in the wild with the plants and the substrate and other fish and spaces to swim, procreate and live happy, right? So all that is like um, extracted from the whole game, 
when thinking about a nano aquarium and i think i might do a piece on that in the future now the concept of biotope is really difficult to explain without doing um an actual shear right uh, i mean it would be nice if i have a if i had an aquarium to actually share with you um you know what, what a nano what a here we go nano what a, um okay that's true that's true um you know a lot of persons are of the belief you know um lunatic fringe that um every fresh water or every river is fresh water right is a reason why and boomer cichlids from africa can and well can live into a ph uh should i say water with a ph of 8.2 8.5 and that's because the the, the the riverbed the river channel is actually laden with rocks and these rocks have a lot of minerals in it and as the water runs over the rock you have what you call uh uh I, I hydrolysis and and different uh you know the chemistry is coming out here but i stopped with chemistry when i was in 11th grade i received moons ago right so you have hydrolysis occurring the rocks breaking apart and the minerals in the rock becoming loose thus the the, 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 the water now the the, the, the the ph is not at its uh seven at neutral nor is it, is it at 6.9 or 6.8 which is going down to be acidic it is like going up because the mineral uh, is actually increasing right so the the lower end of uh lakes and rivers where the water actually rushed down to would have more minerals than the upper end because the water is actually moving to a section where it, everything is grouped up right so it's like a formal line and you're going into a room um in the room will have more people than the line itself all right so um looking at uh biotope i i want i want to focus focus on the whole idea of the, 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 whether or not a, a, a biotope uh, is for you what constitutes a biotope and um you know look at the whole idea of the fish the soil the rock the snail the the the, 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 the shrimp every attribute that consists that is really that is really considered when you thinking about a, a, a biotope now all local rivers uh have that's in jamaica right our, our local river uh has a uniqueness to it in jamaica right uh where i live uh in climbing down you have a river they call salt river and there's a reason why you call it salt river you see in jamaica yes exactly exactly um just my fish you hit the nail on the head wherever it is self-sustaining if if, uh, if an aquarium is self-sustaining it will take a, a while because you know you now have to measure the preciseness in how much um fish gonna reproduce within that aquarium and then now uh you want to limit the amount of of, of of reproduction so you're going to put in a small prey within that that system yeah man a fish that will probably consume other fish but not to the, the, the pace in which it's going to actually consume the fish totally right and then now you're going to put a cleanup crew right and then you're going to put a, a system where it, it actually controls and monitors the pH and the cage of the water right and then you're going to actually end up have to but but you know I, I, i'm kind of jumping the gun here because i have all of it um at the, at the, at the, probably down further down in it i wanted to say right but yeah when considering a biotope um just my fish um you, 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 you also consider um the water flow right now some fish um like strong water flow while some fish don't like strong water flow right you have to consider several several things when when you're looking at a, a biotope a well designed or created biotope highlights several decorative species right these of course are, 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 are pleasing to the eye and relaxing you want to put species of fish within a biotope that has no color i want to put plant that have no zest that have no flow you want to put a plant that you know won't drag persons to to say wow it looks beautiful right now you 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 you, you actually pattern your biotope to be a replica of something that is out there some place that is out there for for some persons they are so exact with regards to the biotope they will actually 
they will actually go out um take the picture of the natural area in which they want to replicate you know get some plants get some of the soil get some of the rock right um lay it out in the aquarium and then now probably take pictures of the type of fish or you do your research the type of fish and you get those fish i put into the system and it, you actually nurture that system to have serene natural look that actually mirrors the the the, the, the natural aquatic space in which you actually fall in love at the beginning with right so so you're talking about a biotope right you're talking about the whole idea of um environmental science you're talking about special criteria right you're talking about uh things that you have to fir first establish so as to get that authentic that natural that scenic that serene look that really looks like what exists there in nature so in, in, in designing and, 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 and structuring a biotope, right? Yes, lunatic bridge. You think about um you think about the salinity as 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 you shared before, and as just my fish says, you think about the whole idea of self-sustaining. I mean, if you have if you have a, 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 a nano aquarium with fish in it and plants in it and substrate and all that. yes <laughs> yes 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 that, that that's true and uh, you know um you have you have some set of aquaphone welcome to the stream you have some setup that actually um come preset for a specific biotope right um <laughs> uh, free, uh, yeah. you love freeness right aquaphone <laughs> i haven't seen i haven't seen your besties I haven't seen your bestie, um, Joe, here tonight. I don't know. Um, probably is um is, is is exercising, right? So um, let me have him again. All right. So so uh, I'm talking about I'm talking about bio I'm talking about what is it that you actually go for when talking about a bio I, I I first hinted, right, that implying a bio you, you need first to look at the substrate. Now, uh, for those persons new to fish keep in Jamaica. Uh, a new to aquafung aquatics we did in the earlier days aquafung about two years ago uh we did about two years ago we did a, a debate i think that was that was really cool right looking back at it i'm saying that yo know, that video was that that, that that set of videos were really cool we did a a, 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 a debate where we actually looked at substrates right aquarium with substrate aquarium without substrate right uh aquafung won that debate because he actually um he got his audience to actually agree with him i was unable to convince them of um uh, my my <laughs> i was able to convince them of my my point however a two biotope have a substrate a two biotope have a substrate have decoration right um, in, in, in planning for a true dia um, yeah, a, a true biotope, right? The, the substrate should be similar. The substrate, yeah, three years ago, three years ago, indeed, aquaform. The substrate should be, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the substrate should be uh, similar to what exactly um, exists within that given space for example if you know that for example um let's say excavators most excavators live in environments where you have a lot of rock at the base of the river or the stream right and i've seen a lot of persons actually <laughs> yes 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 um uh, you know he, 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 he's a good guy he's a good guy just my fish he, he remembers when I'm, I'm getting old right all right so excavators normally within areas with with um with with, with with a lot of rock um within the the, the 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 substrate within the natural environment i've seen persons having um excavators such as tetron barbs and you know all those fish um having them in substrate with sand right whilst they might have a few rocks but 
an excavator should be in a substrate with, with, with rocks. And, and there's a reason why you keep excavators with rock substrate. And the reason for that is that excavators, they scatter the eggs. And the eggs normally fall within the creases of the substrate. And with, when they fall in the, the creases of the substrate, uh, the, 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 the excavators find it, which is the, the fish, the, the adult grown fish, find it very difficult to actually go for the, the egg to consume them. So as a result, the, 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 the excavator, the gen, a next generation will come, um, they will hide, they will stay beneath is in this, the rock substrate, um, scourging on the surface of the, the rocks whenever the adults are up top for food and then they will lose to hide it until they reach a good size where they know that they can't be lift up again, they know they will come out. But that's how excavators actually survive in the wild. But I've seen persons having planted aquariums with a lot of plants, uh, with textures, with buds, not considering all that. But a lot, they, 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 to, be true, to be truthful, they have not really said that it's a biotope. But if you have a fish, I think that you should keep the fish in an environment similar to what it would be in um, in the wild. Uh, probably persons might agree with me, persons might disagree with me. Okay, so the next point I want to make, right, is that when thinking about um, biotope, right, you think about living organism uh, within that biotope. Uh, you talk about the, sp the fish, right? You talk about the plants, the shellfish. Um, they be should be of the same... Uh, you know, say region. You don't want to get a snail. You know. Ah, yes, right. <laughs> Just my fish is not that bad, man. It's not that bad. Ah, uh, when when talking about a biotope, you want to get uh, fish, plant, and other um, you know, aquatic creatures or or, or, or organism uh, from the same region, right? Uh, that way. Um, you will be able to, you know, sustain the, the, the natural colors. But for, for example, you might get you might get a fish, right? And the fish loves a particular plant to consume, right? But the fish also live within a region with plants, but it's not that type of plant. So when you put that fish within, uh, let's say, a, 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 an aquarium with a certain species with a certain type of plant, you find that the plants are always been eaten by the fish or by, by, by the shrimp or by other aquatic creatures, whether it be by a snail or whatever, because it tastes delicious to them. But within their natural environment, um, that is not the plant. They would not consume it, but you place that one there so they actually consume it. So things have to actually flow together for it to actually work. Okay, um, most of my plants actually replicate uh, what exactly exists within the river near where I live. The river near where I live um, has a uh, very thick vegetation, and that is mostly uh, of, and I'm getting good with the pronunciation, Elodia Densa plant. And you'll see of lately, I have actually shared this with you. The giant um, duckweed in which I actually shared with you um, a few months back, um, that is not found in the river where I went exactly. That's found in a different, different area, right? But these are some of the plants that exist there, that ex exist here, right? So I actually use the plants from the wild within my pond system, right? And I have algae in my pond. I have the dirt from the back of my yard in my pond. And I, I have the fish that I have are uh, mostly tropical um, bread and kept fish. So um, they, 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 they don't really give me much of a problem. Okay, I'm reading Funk's um, comment. He says that the one thing that, 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 that is, yeah, yeah, seasonal changes. I mean, I mean, like, um, I don't think if I be in the state, I don't think I be doing any summer topic. It's just too much work. I mean, you place so much effort and energy in putting out those ponds outside, right? Um, in the summer. And within like a few weeks, right? 
<laughs> like within a few weeks, you have to be like taking up those pawns from outside. I think that's just too much work for me, right? Um, on the matter of, of, of biotopes, right? You have to be exact, precise, and um, you have to actually understand the chemistry flow between organics, organic um creatures, well, should I say um creatures, uh, yeah, aquatic creatures that actually live within that space right uh the, the, the use of cosmopolitan the use of what i call it cosmopolitan uh cosmopolitan and invasive species um might exist within a biotope however uh i would i i, I wouldn't really recommend that right you have some some plants that some 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 natural conservationists might say that they are like destroying the other side of nature so um they are actually trying to eradicate them and you have some that is being eradicated um by by development or whatever by pollution or whatever persons are trying to preserve them well um i i i i am too iffy about that um another thing that you should look at there's a lot of arguments about uh, a lot of arguments about biotope, um, how you get biotope, for example, um, if you want to do a, a tropical aquarium, a, a, a aquarium, an African aquarium, you know, African sickly aquarium, African aquarium, aquarium that actually um, replicates, let's say, um, Lake Malawi, right? You're going to have to think about the temperature. You're going to have to think about the, the, the water flow. That's important. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, ease up on that one. The water flow of your aquarium is important to the species of fish that you have some water flow some fish like the slow water flow right um like a oh, funk is slow you know, they like the, the, the flow slow of of a funk right and some they like fast flowing water so it depends on the type of fish that you have you would want to actually get a, a, a filtration system that actually mimics the actual um the actual you know, natural environment that the fish exactly comes from. <laughs> ah, just my fish. You're taking over from um from 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 Joe. All right. Uh ah uh, yes. Ah. Uh, you see, there's a lot of arguments with regard to biotope and why people set up biotope. Some persons set up biotope primarily just for the attraction. Um, some persons set it up for conservationist purposes. Some persons set it up because it's like a centerpiece, right? Uh, it's similar to attraction, but kind of different. Um, I mean, uh, you would you 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 would get it as a centerpiece uh, for, for example, for as entertainment um the persons come into your house and you know they they, they enjoy because a little bit of music playing watching the aquarium everything everything just you know flood with that aquarium within that space right now the, the the quality of life of the living organism that exists within a biotope right should be of such that none is at a advantage or disadvantage everyone everything that exists within that aquarium uh, that aquarium space should actually um have a of, of, of surviving um uh, whatever comes its way right um so biotope is a whole new world to itself it's different from having an aquarium with some aquarium fishing it uh, with a filtration system right um that is one of the reason you know the water flow kind of hold me when i was re doing the research the water flow having the right water flow within the aquarium uh we uh biotope that had me a lot aquifer because i never know that some fish love it when the water is actually pushing them from one side of the stream to the next so as a result it's, it, it's, it's as if it's preparing them for the chase you know the man to run down the female or should i say the male fish running on the female fish so whenever it stays in the strong stream, when it's young, it finds itself easy. It, 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 it actually gets the, get, get the girl um, much easier 
because it, its muscles are, have actually developed with the with the flow of the stream actually having it actually have to muster up the flow as it go as it as it forces its way back upstream as the water pushes it downstream so in a sense the flow of the water within an aquarium especially a biotope is of great importance also guys the temperature of the water now the temperature of the water can mean whether or not you actually get fries <laughs> ah just my fish oh yeah joker all right so so um the, the temperature of the water within an aquarium can mean whether uh, can 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 uh, i would say no can determine whether or not you get fries because some eggs are specific and as i said the other day for me to get some fries from my correct glorious catfish um at one point i had to put some water in a bag in the freezer and i placed it overnight in the aquarium and by the next day in the evening i saw eggs on the glass yeah so temperature is of great importance great significance i mean funk imagine you live in new york where it's snowing within in, in december right and you have some emboma cichlids you now you're gonna have to have a, a, a aquarium water heater right for those emboma cichlids because the temperature is going to be too cold for them to actually survive and if the, the temperature goes down too much they're going to be susceptible to parasites and, and disease and illness not that your aquarium is dirty but the, the temperature actually um encourages um infections right yeah yeah for real okay okay uh okay okay cool 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 all right so 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 I, I'm, I'm winding down to the end of my stream i have roughly about 10 minutes left i'm going to add a few minutes to the one in each the the, the, the the one hour um to just to clear up a few points that persons might misunderstand no arrangement of the environmental component with the aquarium is of vital importance the decoration how they are they are actually laid out in the aquarium is of vital importance now uh within a biotope within an area a given area uh let's say in nature you might have a river a section of the river have sand and a section have stones right a section of the river have driftwood while a se section of the river have strong flowing water so although you have the driftwood i have tonic acid and uh, what call it tannins actually coming from the the the, 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 the driftwood within the natural you know natural river um you still have a strong flow which actually um washes the, the tonic acid away from the area so a lot of drift is there that probably you would say that it, it actually brings down the ph and the cage right um you well brings down the ph i'm not so sure about the cage i've just learned about the cage the other day right um you find that the fisher actually live where the drift food is because the current that exists there is so high that it actually push away the acid so therefore the, the tannins doesn't really affect the fish but the fish actually love the the driftwood so if you want your driftwood as, well as i said during the week if you want your driftwood you put your driftwood in some boiling water so as to actually um eliminate the 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 the, 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 the possibility of of tannins actually getting into your aquarium space all right so how you actually position your um your, your decorative component within uh within what you call it uh a, 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 a biotope is of primary importance right now the view should be harmonious with what exists what out there in the wild so you're gonna decide okay i'm gonna put the plants at the side i'm gonna put the substrate i'm gonna put half of it sand half of it gravel i'm gonna put this plant here that plant here i'm gonna put a few caves over this side i'm gonna put a part i'm gonna put a um a small driftwood over this side i'm going to make this flow so forceful over this side that if it's too forceful for these type of fish over on this side right uh the fish can probably go over this side where the flow is is gentle so you have to consider all of this when thinking about uh making the aesthetic view of your biotope on the what you call it you know the excellent side right and the up their side on the side where it is when we look at the biotope 
from the side of that glass box you're actually seeing something that is admirable not only to you but persons who may visit you just to look at your aquarium space now um in, in closing arrangement of living organism now fishes fishes could behave naturally and occupy and provide um i call it niches now some fish like what you call the territory right and the territory will be marked based on for you the, the, the viewer the, the territory of the fish is marked primarily by where you see the fish actually stay mostly that would be its territory so you have a group of fish over here a group of fish over here uh that's one of the reasons why you know the whole idea of territory is one of the reasons why i would not want to advise that you get anything less than let's say a 55 gallon to get a real biotope right <clears throat> because over time that biotope if, it, if, it's, if it's too small right it actually limits the amount of aquatic life that you have so you will really get to see the, 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 the true um the true mirror of, of of nature within that space yes you can have a 25 or 15 gallon planted tank but that won't be a, a biotope because you have a limited amount of fish there you you you, you would have the setting just just to suit your benefit right um and, and and chances are you might have the flow at a different angle or a different pace than what the fish or the plant actually you know like or prefer right um in 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 in, in looking at let me let me let me look at <laughs> okay yeah yes uh page string because of the flow of the water um lunatic fringe lunatic fringe right um uh, the tannins that exist within the water as a result of um people being in the water um it, within the natural you know natural in, in the natural river in a natural sea in a natural area um tannins don't it's not really stagnant unless you might have um a lot of a lot of uh, driftwood one and two the flow of the water is very soft that's where you now you would have a lot of tannins and you'll find that there's just certain certain type of fish that would actually exist uh within spaces like that <laughs> okay just my fish i get you i get you i get you i get you all right so i'm kind of going over my 10 and my, my 10 minutes in which i said i would um give me five more minutes and i will be out of here so in, in, in conclusion as i talk about um the whole idea of biotopes right you talk about the whole um i might be wondering where am i where is this where all this come from it's not like you have a biotope well i've done my research and my ponds if you have been watching my videos you will realize that my videos actually show ponds with a lot of elodea uh, densa plants and these elodea densa um, actually comes from my local river right and uh the fish that i have with an exception of the koi and the goldfish they are mostly tropical uh yeah i have some south americans but they're mostly tropical type of fish i have some south americans like my comide and well, the comide are from asia i have uh the, the south americans are like uh convict cichlids oscar uh jack Dempsey. but but you know it, it, it still lingers around the whole tropical type because some section of central america uh, actually experience tropical climate right so uh and some section yeah some section a little section actually ex experience like a temperate climate so um yeah 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 so i i i'll be writing same that okay uh let me see now what is it uh yeah that's true that's true because the the, the 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 leaves actually the leaves actually blow off the tree um more frequently than trees actually fall in the river you are correct um lunatic fringe that's true that's true um bear in mind too also that it will be more easier lunatic fringe that uh be more easier for the leaf hey ron j nice seeing you nice 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 boss note that in a rainforest right in a rainforest 
uh, you would see in a rainforest, you would see the leaves in the in, in the river actually being washed away more quicker and more easier um, than the the, 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 the driftwood. Thus, uh, actually solidify, solid, solidify, yeah, solidify, solidify my point, saying that um, in the natural, no, natural, natural environment, cannons sometimes might come and go. It depends on the tides. Should I shouldn't say tides because tides only really, um, relate to sea. But the flow of the river, one, and as someone mentioned, I think it's you, um, mentioned the whole idea of, of, of drought, right? The, 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 the amount of, of water that exists within the, 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 the stream can determine the extent in which tannins actually exist because I think there's somewhere in, in Amazon where in which the water actually um actually um raised at a certain time of the year like probably about six or seven foot up in the year right um and there's a lot of dead trees at the side so therefore you have more tannins when they are uh, the, the stream actually um actually go to a certain height um in comparison to um during the time where in which you have um low level of rainfall and there's a tiny stream or a small stream a uh, medium stream that's actually running along the, the river channel you might have not that amount much amount of um amount of tannins right okay so i understand i understand what you're saying okay so um so the six the six things that you actually look at when considering uh a, a, a biotope is environmental uh you talk about decoration living organism you talk about the fish the plant you know the other aquatic um, species that might exist within that aquarium. You also talk about the environmental quality, right? You talk about the, the, the water parameters, right? You're talking about the, the whole idea of, of rotten leaves, bacteria. You talk about the pH, the KH of the water. You also talk about uh, the, 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 the flow of the water. A lot of persons tend to leave this thing out. You see, it's because a lot of aquariums that exist out there, um, have inappropriate um aquarium water flow that's why a lot of fish are actually getting sick right also the living um organism uh uh, uh quality right the, the, the fish the, the plant uh we must ensure when creating biotopes right that the biotope actually um reflects one region and stop people stop stop trying to create hybrid biotopes i mean biotopes that you just think up over your head and you get plant from asia plant from central america central america plant from um africa and you put all these plants in one aquarium expecting that these plants are going to actually um be good you know good yeah they might look green but that doesn't mean that they're, they're doing good right um you know you know plants grow according to the minerals according to the amount of light or you know some plants love light some plants don't like light um some plants um prefer uh when when the water yeah some plants prefer when the minerals within within the aquarium is at a certain level you know so you think about the the, the water chemical sorry the water chemistry right also I uh, talk about uh, components, right? You, you talk about the whole idea of the, 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 the harmonious um, aesthetics that you're going to have within the aquarium, right? Does it fit, right? If I put a big rock within the aquarium, it actually um, spoils the aesthetic beauty of my aquarium. You think about that, right? Uh, and the arrangement of living organisms. You don't want to put a, a baby... Um, Clown loach, or should I say, a baby loach, coolie loach, a baby, a small coolie loach. We're in an aquarium with some texture and some barbs, right? That loach is going to get some really nicking from those barbs, right? It's, it's not going to be pretty. And you can't put them with sickness neither because, you know, at, at that side, they're going to take them for food, right? So you have to think about all that arrangement when thinking about a uh, biotope. Now, if you want to actually test your skills in designing and executing an authentic biotope aquarium, you need to create a checklist. 
create a checklist. Do your research accordingly, right? Uh, and create this checklist on specific biotope ecosystems, right? If you want to do an African biotope, an Africa biotope, a South American, a Central American, a North American, a, 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 a Asian, an Indian biotope, you do it, right? A con to what? It's supposed to be there. You don't try to create. I, I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing the words of somebody in the chat who suggested that you have what I call hybrid biotope. Now, when when I think when I think of some um fish tubers actually creating a, a, a biotope system, um, I, I I I think of it just uh, to some extent as showboating because some of these biotopes are just impractical as to how they are constructed, right? Um, the, the, the quality of the scheme and the inclusion of fish um, along with the necessary equipment, right? It should be considered. Yeah, yeah. For some fish, you like the forceful movement of water. So for some fish, they like both sun at a certain time of the year and gravel at a certain type of the time of the year. So you have to accommodate for both, right? The authenticity, the, authenticity, the realness, the trueness, the replica of the, the, the mirroring of a biotope, right? Um should be left to um someone who actually have actually done much reading and have actually dedicated themselves to actually um you know much work in executing what they set out to be. I I personally would love to do a biotope, but I don't have a large aquarium at this time, right? And doing a biotope with a small aquarium, I am not too loving that idea. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'm going to leave you now. I appreciate you for being here. It was a lovely stream. Where it, trust me, you had me talking for the entire time. Um, yeah, the moment I laugh. But uh, you had me talking, and I like that because I like when a stream is fully rich with either entertainment um, enthusiasm, um, educational facts are just something that actually points to the fact that, um, you know, when you, when you leave the stream, you can actually get something, you know, it's something resonates on the mind that, um, possible that, you know, you can make a connection. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I ask you to do so. It's Fish Keeping Jamaica. If you wish to, uh, check me out on Instagram, it's Fish Keeping Jamaica, right? Hit the comment section below, um, tell me what you think. Right. Also, when you subscribe, make sure to hit all notifications. This is right here for another stream. Uh, I'm not 100% sure you will see me during the week, but if you see me, you'll see me, and that will be on Monday, right? Uh, Monday at 6, if you see me. If not, you will see me Saturday night, this time, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, not Pacific um, Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bless up. Peace out. We are here. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I am a. Oh, oh, this is not. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>